Hello friends, my name's Surreal Emil. Now, there's a plethora of fantastically mad hot hatches on the market today, but none of them have the legacy or hype that this one does. This is the brand new Ford Focus RS. Now, while well, judging by the previous two generation of Focus RSs, as well as the history of the infamous RS badge, it should be a doozy. Powered by a 2.3 litre, four cylinder EcoBoost turbo unit found in a new Mustang, that produces 350 horsepower and 350 pounds feet of torque, it certainly ain't a slouch. And with a all wheel drive system, it seems like this car may be more of a throwback to the Escort RS Cosworth of the early 90s than the more recent front wheel drive Focus RSs of the late 2000s. To see what is what, I went to Silverstone to have myself a little bit of a test drive. On paper, and this new Focus RS is the ultimate hot hatch. 0 to 60 takes a blistering 4.4 seconds, and the focus will keep on going until it hits its 173 miles per hour top speed. On the track, and for the most part, these statistics sure seem accurate. The focus has great launch and acceleration, although it will slow come 130 miles per hour. One of the reasons for its great speed is the fantastic gearbox. It's a six speed with the ratio set up just about perfectly. However, all tracks have corners, so how does the Focus cope when it reaches them? Well, the Focus suffers from low to mild understeer, which does mean you may have to take a few laps to get used to it. However, good news is that the rear end stays firmly planted to the road, with no sideways action whatsoever, unless you happen to pull the handbrake. The brakes are relatively average for this classic car, and overall the Focus RS feels a lot more like, say, an Impreza or an Evo than the old Focus RS. However, is the Focus the ultimate hot hatch? Well, now let's go to the Top Gear track and see if it can beat the mighty Mercedes AMG A45. Okay, here we are on the track with the Focus RS and if you want the statistics between this and the A45 AMG, well, this is a bit of an underdog. The A45 has five more horsepower and weighs 200 pounds less. However, the A45 did have some pretty horrific understeer and a horrible, horrible flappy paddle gearbox. So the Focus RS should have some advantages through the corners, while the Mercedes will make up all its time on the straight. Going around the first corner and it looked relatively clean around the second corner and, well, the Focus RS looks clean as well. You'd expect some understeer to creep in there, but surprisingly not in the Focus RS. On so straight, and this is where the Mercedes would make up its time, it has a close ratio gearbox to that Mercedes so it can stay in the power band for a lot longer than the Focus can. However, into the Hammerhead and the A45 AMG really struggled around here. The Focus, not so much, completely clean. Absolutely fantastic through the Hammerhead, probably one of the better hot hatches when it came to that corner. Anyways, going on to the follow through, and I could take about 95 miles per hour through here and got about 105 on the way out. Um, ultimately, I did have to brake and lift off just because there is a little bit too much understeer to take that completely flat out, but there you go. Anyways, coming up to the second to last corner now, and this is where most four-wheel drive cars with lots of understeer get caught out, but not the Focus. Did have to go pretty slowly through there, but still got around there nonetheless. And around the last corner looks pretty clean and across the line. The, Mesa uh, the Ford Focus RS 2017 goes into 121st with a 123.463. Beats the Mercedes A45 AMG by 0.100 of a second, which is pretty damn good. Beats a 2015 Ford Mustang, 2015 Audi TTS. Beats a Skyline R54. That Ford Focus RS is very, very quick, and now it is the champion of hot hatches around our track. So ultimately then, the Ford Focus RS, is it the ultimate hot hatch? Yes. Yes, it is. It's just absolutely crazy. However... Do I prefer it over the old Ford Focus RS? No. You see, the old Ford Focus RS was not quite as good. It wasn't as quick around the track. It was three seconds slower than the modern Focus RS. However, it was front wheel drive and it had 300 horsepower and it was crazy. It looks absolutely mental in this strange bright green paint. It has a massive body kit. It has an amazing five cylinder Volvo engine with 300 horsepower. It was just an absolutely insane hot hatch, and I think some of that insanity has been lost in the Focus RS. Anyways, friends, I want to thank you all very much for watching. My name's been The Real Emil, and until next time, farewell.